بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو رمضان بایولوجی ان دس لیکچر وی ول ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا سیل بایولوجی ایکچولی وی ار اسٹارٹنگ ا سیریز اف لیکچر آن دا سیل بایولوجی ان دین وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ آرگنلز اف دا سیل سو وی پور گو انٹو دی ڈیٹیل اف سیل وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا سیل بایولوجی واٹ از سیل بایولوجی سیل بایولوجی ایکچولی دا اسٹڈی اف دا سیل ان آرگنلز پریزنٹ ان دا سیل In our today main discussion is about the cell theory. And in the inshallah in the next lecture we will talk about the cell and in the cell organelles. So today our main discussion is about the cell theory or the cell history. That who firstly discovered the cell and which scientists proposed different uh, ideas about the cell. So let's study. First of all, Robert Hooke, uh, English scientist in 1665, he presented the first theory about the cell and he had a small uh, a simple microscope under which he searched uh, about the carex slices and the carex slices he magnified the carex slices about 30 time about 30 time he magnified and his microscope only magnification was the 30 times okay then he saw some tiny microscopic structure and that he called that these are the building blocks of this carex slices and then he called these are the cell and cell is a latin word which meaning small room so he said that these are the small room which combinedly make a whole carex slices tissues then at that time around the time the another scientist came Anton van Leeuwenhoek and Anton van Leeuwenhoek is the main discoverer of the microscope generally the modern microscope discovered is the Anton Leeuwenhoek and he discovered unicellular organism actually his microscope magnification was 300 times under his microscope he magnified the pot water 300 times and he saw some smaller microscopic organism floating in the pot water and these organisms were only made of only one cell and there was no magnification of making other cells in these microscopic uh, organisms and therefore he called that these are the unicellular organisms then after him another scientist came Jean Baptiste de Lamarck in 1809 he was a French scientist and he he pined, he searched the cell, uh, the plant body and also the animal body in which he proposed that all the living organisms, whether plant or animal, these all are made of cells. Then after this, another scientist came. Uh, now after, after now, three scientists worked. But up to now, there was only consideration, only recognition about the cell. Up to now, there was no any consideration inside the cell that are there are some content arguments present in the cell or not. It was Robert Brown in 1831, an English scientist who discovered the nucleus. And he said that this is a center part of the cell that is called the nucleus. Then after him, another scientist came, Mathis Schlieren, in 1839, he, he was a botanist. He was a botanist, a German botanist, and he performed his experiment under a microscope on the plant, uh, plant body. And he discovered that the all plants are made of cells. Then in the same year, in after one year, another scientist, Theodor Schwann, it was also a German scientist. And he examined, he was a zoologist, so therefore he examined on the uh, animal cell. And he said that animal body is also made of cells. Then after another scientist came, his name around the same year, just the Theodore Sichuan, he was named as Jane Evangelista Porangich. He said that inside the cell, this was another discovery about the inside of the cell. He said that inside the cell, there is a fluid structure, fluid, liquid, liquefied structure that is called protoplasm. Okay. Then another scientist came in 1855, uh, Rodolf Virchow. He said that every cell comes from another cell, from another existing cell. It means existing cell here. Existing cell. Suppose this is a cell, this is an existing cell, okay? Existing cell. This cell will undergo the division, cell division, and will give us 
other cell. So he said that this cell arise from another existing cell, and this cell will make other cell. So this cell will arise from this. And here he said that this one cell actually arise from the another existing cell. But he did not perform this experiment. Up to about seven years later, another scientist, Louis Pasteur. He was a French scientist. He performed an experiment on the bacterial cell. That he had already listened about the German scientist Rudolf of virtue that every cell comes from another existing cell. So he performed this experiment not by his own, but he uh, performed. Uh, he examined this under a microscope the bacterial cell. When the bacterial cell was go was uh, going in the division, this is a bacterial cell. So this was going in the division phase. So he saw that this bacterial cell is going this action like this type, like uh, this type action. Okay. And eventually it gave us two cell. So he performed this experiment and he proved the theory of proto that the cell, every cell undergoes the cell division and therefore gives a lot of cells. Okay, so this was about the theories of the cell difference scientists propose. Now we'll talk about the conclusion of these theories. And this conclusion was given by these two scientists, the Mathis Leiden and Theodor Stwan. These two are German scientists. These these two scientists gave the conclusion of all the different theories given by different scientists. So now let's study about the conclusion. So now we'll talk about the conclusion of Schleden and Sichuan model that all the theories the, uh, uh, experiment by all the scientists these two scientists gave a conclusion to these all theories and they had a uh, three step to uh, conclusion the first step say that all animals and plants are made of cell and cell products I say that all animals and all plants are made of cell and the cell product. So just like this food, the model of the internally one hook, the cell, and this after the uh, generalistic demarc, and the demarc said that all the animals, whether plant or animal, whether plant or animal, these all are made of cells. And by its own, Sladen uh, and Swan also presented the model that uh, one said uh, that all plants are made of cells and all animals are made of cells. And therefore, they gave the conclusion that these all plants and animals are made of cell and then they said that this cell product so just like the Robert Brown presented the nucleus model then the cell have a center part that is called nucleus and another scientist uh, presented the protoplasm uh, uh, theory that uh, inside the cell this is the elplute structure it is called protoplasm so therefore these two scientists also mentioned the cell product and they said about it, some organism are multicellular and some are unicellular. So this afford the model of Anton Leeuwenhoek. That Anton Leeuwenhoek said, uh, performed his experiment and he searched that there are also some unicellular organism. And he also said uh, that there can, that maybe that he, all plants and animals are multicellular and the smaller organism which he Perform at which he performed the experiment under his microscope, these he called as the unicellular organism. So, therefore, these two scientists propose a conclusion that there are multicellular organisms also and unicellular organisms also. And then the step say that cells are the structural and functional unit of living organism. So they have support the model of uh, Robert Hooke that he said that the cell is a structural and functional unit of living organism and eventually. This step support all the theories presented by various scientists because various scientists work uh, by invention different arguments of the cell. So therefore, this is also a very important step and therefore, cell is also called the building block of the animals and plants, the building block of living organism. The next third step say that new cell arise from the pre-existing cell. So this step uh, support the model of virtue or the virtue and Louis Pasteur that this scientist said that new cell arise from the pre-existing cell and this 
scientist performed the experiment of the cell division on a bacterial cell and he said that uh, is proved that the new cell arises from the pre-existing cell so this was all about the cell theory and the conclusion of Sheldon and such one so i hope this lecture will be helpful to you and if you have any doubt any question in this so you can mention in the comment inshallah in the next lecture we will talk about the cell and the cell organelles and do not forget to subscribe and share my lecture for the next upcoming lecture and also press the bell icon to receive update of my next lectures thank you very much